Welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Air Hogs has a lot of new aircraft coming out this year, and they were nice enough to send us one of the new Skystun RC airplanes to test out. Air Hogs was also at the 2013 Fort Lauderdale Air Show with a full scale Skystun airplane and a lot of new RC aircraft for people to test out. Now, my first impression of the Sky Stunt is that it's a more traditional RC airplane since it uses a magnetic servo in the tail to turn and a single motor in the front to uh, get thrust in altitude. And the best thing about the magnetic tail servo is that it's always on, so you can always steer the aircraft, even with zero thrust. So if you get too high, you can just cut the motor and glide back down to earth in a controlled manner, safely avoiding all the trees. Another good thing about being able to steer with no throttle is you can kind of slowly hover into the wind almost like you're slope soaring. Both the throttle and the steering are very good and responsive, making the aircraft nimble. It can seem a little jumpy at first, but once you get the hang of the throttle and the rudder, you'll find that you can get more precision out of it than you could with a traditional two-motor steering setup that Airhog's aircraft have traditionally used. Now, like the name Sky Stunt says, the aircraft can do stunts. There's a little stunt button on the transmitter that sends the motor into overdrive. The aircraft is designed to get more lift when you add more thrust, so when you go to full throttle, the aircraft will start doing loops. You can hold down the button to do loops or quickly press it whenever you need an extra little bit of thrust in a tight spot, which is really handy. There are a few stunts that will do easily and almost automatically like loops, banking turns, and corkscrews, and you can come up with a lot of other really quick stunts on the fly just because of how nimble and light it is, and you will get a good 10 or 12 minutes of flight out of it from a good 35 minute charge through the transmitter. Unfortunately, there is no USB charging cable, but it is easy to recharge in the field using the transmitter. The range is great at about 300 feet, and the ability to steer without throttle is priceless when you fly high like Icarus on a windy day and realize you need to get down. Now the cost is only $39.99, so it's very affordable for a little two-channel RC airplane, and I have to say, I like this little aircraft. It's small, it's lightweight, but it has a lot of power. Now it does need light wind conditions and a little practice, but it's one of those aircraft that you just really want to fly again when the battery finally runs down. It's ready to fly out of the box and it comes with a spare set of props that are really easy to replace. If you are a fan of the Air Oasis and the Havoc Cyclone, then definitely check out the new Sky Stunt from Air Hogs. You'll flip over it. <laughs> okay, after that bad pun, I'll leave you with some footage from the Fort Lauderdale Air Show. Sky Stunt and for sharing all this wonderful footage from the full size stunt plane in action. Thanks for watching RC 101 with the Dallas Fly. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.